Hi, this is Topher with OS Training. In this series, we're going to take a look at both MySQL, the database that runs a lot of the web, and more specifically, PHP MyAdmin, a tool for using MySQL. MySQL is probably the most popular open source database. They've done a wonderful job of getting exactly the right balance of speed and features. There are faster databases, and there are more featureful databases, but MySQL is pretty much the only one that balances those perfectly. There is another called MariaDB, which is a fork of MySQL, created by the people who created MySQL. They have extended it some, but it is still backwards compatible with MySQL. So you may get a host that has Maria instead of MySQL, and that's okay. The reason we want a tool like PHP MyAdmin is that the native tool for accessing MySQL is command line. It looks like this. There, now we're in the database. We can show databases. We can choose a database. We can show the tables in the database and we can select information from it. There you can see the users in my site. This is all well and good for people who are really comfortable with the command line, but not everyone is. And you may not even have access to it all the time. And so, the people at PHP My Admin made a wonderful web interface. We're looking here at the homepage for PHP My Admin at phpmyadmin.net. You'll see here that there's a place to donate, to try a demo, to download, and the Google Summer of Code 2015. This is a way that Google is contributing back to this project. Now, I'm going to recommend that you not use this download link right here. PHP My Admin has been extensively translated into multiple languages, and it comes with all of them, which makes for a very large download, and you probably only need one language. So instead, I recommend you go here to the top right, to the download link. And here you can choose all languages or just English. You'll see there are quite a few here for just English. The only difference is the compression format. So if you're more comfortable with zip files, get that one. If you like tarballs, you should get one of those. If you know what 7-zip is, then you win and you get to use that one because it's the smallest. Also in this page, you can get past versions if you need them. And also, you can see the release notes to see what happens in this release. This is particularly useful if there's a security release. You can see if you are vulnerable or not. So in our next video, we'll take a look at how to install PHP MyAdmin on your server.